Here's how I get my clients to around 70 processes to 60 processes whenever they start up their PC and still have all of their windows functioning without any sacrificing of functions. So in order to get this done, all we have to do is pretty much just disable some unnecessary services, disable the services that use a lot of memory, a lot of CPU, and a lot of system resources in order to decrease our CPU usage, decrease our RAM usage, and improve our frames and decrease our input delay. So let's get started with disabling the unnecessary services within Windows and how to do this on your specific computer all right guys so as you can see we're in the stock windows 11 right here so the first two things that you want to do before continuing on with this video in order to make sure that you don't mess up so the first one is creating a restore point so all you want to do is search up create a restore point and then you want to click create and then just type whatever you want i'm going to call it before zilly video press create and let that do its thing it's really important that you do this step just because if you do mess up you can always go back to the restore point and just go back to before doing this video and you should do this regardless of what the video entails fyi i'm not responsible for anything that you do on your computer everything that you do on your computer following videos is your fault and your problem so keep that in mind but anyways click close and press close and then all you're going to do is you want to make sure that you're not using a microsoft account whenever you're doing this video the reason for that is just because the microsoft account uses a lot of extra services that we're trying to disable and just not let you log into your pc so make sure you're using a local account on your pc you can log into microsoft account on a microsoft store and xbox but just don't log into your computer with a microsoft account so how do you do this so all you want to do is go to the start menu go to settings go to accounts and then you're going to go to your info and then all you're going to do is click microsoft account sign in with a local account instead and as you guys can see this is popping up you can press next on that and then type your pin and then if you want a password you can just type a password and then confirm it i don't want one so i'm going to click next and then you're going to press sign out and finish once you've done that and then just log back in and continue watching this video all right guys so once you've done what we just did which is a restore point and signing in with a local account all you're going to do is go to the link in the description and download the disabled services guide hack just open this up go to the do this before anything else folder and right click on disable uac and click run as administrator and then press yes now if you press any key on this screen it's going to restart the computer and then once you've done that you're ready to start disabling services so restart your computer come back to this video and let's continue yo guys so just before you start with this video make sure to disable these settings in windows defenders so just press windows key and i and go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection manage settings and turn off real-time protection press yes on that and turn off tamper protection and make sure everything else in here is off and then you can continue running this video with no issues all right everyone so once you've restarted your computer and done those first three steps in order to make sure that you have zero problems what we're going to do is we're going to go to this window settings and then you're going to go to apps and then start up and this is really important it's going to be like nine percent of the things that run in the background is probably going to all be in here so as you guys can see on this stock windows we have microsoft edge running in the background in one drive which makes no sense so turn all of this off you don't need anything on startup if you do it's just personal preference but i'm gonna turn all this off and then another thing that you would do is auto run 64.exe now i've showed this in the previous video of this one and a lot of people messed up so again it's the same as in this video do not uncheck anything that you don't know what it does so just right click on this click on as an administrator press yes on that click agree and then you're gonna go to log on now it's gonna show pretty much everything that was showing up in startup but for me i'm gonna uncheck these two riot vanguard and then these three down here if you have somewhat of a similar setup to log on as me do the same thing cmd.exe keep this check then go to schedule tasks if you find things that are yellow just right click on it click delete and for example these update tasks you don't need it so you can just turn those off and then these like OneDrive related tasks i'm gonna delete OneDrive anyways but you don't need that then go to services if you don't really need any of these edge update or google update or brave update turn this off and then everything else here looks fine go to drivers if you find this yellow one just right click on it click delete press okay and that's it don't uncheck anything that you don't know what it does because you will brick your system if you do that so if i uncheck one of these and i try to restart my pc is just going to bruise screen so don't do that then close out of that now the services script you're going to open up in sudo lg.exe right click on it click as, as an administrator and then once you've done that click enable all privileges drag main script dot bat into it press run and it's going to instantly run and then press any key to close out of it now the rest of everything in the optional services to disable these are services that are going to break these functions in their name but you do get less process count and less services running in the background so if you don't use bluetooth if you don't use printing if you don't use wi-fi if you don't use xbox you can run each individual bat file with an sudo so let's just say for example i want to disable windows defender i drag this over click run and it'll say access denied for some of these but i'll show you how to fix that in a second but as you see that's running then let's just say for example i want to disable bluetooth i'm gonna drag it into there 
press run as you guys can see it's the same as bluetooth so you just keep doing that on all these that you want to do obviously this is all optional you don't need to do any of these just because the main thing is in the main script now this is why you have a restore point just in case you want to go back you can always just use the restore point and then just go back and disable stuff that you don't need and then just have the stuff that you need actually working all right guys to the disable defender which is the optional script and the optional services to disable all you want to do is before you run it is do this step right here so all you want to do is press windows key and r type ms config then press ok then go to boot click on your current windows and click safe boot press apply press ok restart your computer then once you've restarted open up the services script again go to this page right here double click in sudo lg.exe check enable all privileges go to optional services to disable and then just drag disable windows defender over and then press run and it should work perfectly fine then once you've done that you can close out of both of these press windows key and r type ms config again go to boot click on your current windows and then uncheck safe boot press apply and then press ok and then just restart your computer and defender is going to be completely disabled so you won't have defender running in the background taking up those frames but let's just say you have some of these applications that run in the background just like how i have what you would want to do is right click on them and click create one drive for example or just completely uninstall them so just say right vanguards on them i'm going to exit out of that but yeah you want this as minimum as possible only the stuff that you want to use should be down here other than that just uninstall the apps that you don't need by going to apps installed apps and uninstall them however i do recommend using bulk crap uninstaller to uninstall applications it's basically a program that uninstalls a program that you've tried to uninstall and then it will delete any of the leftovers like leftover registry files leftover log files and etc so all you want to do is search up bulk crap uninstaller on google go to the first link and you're going to click download on foss hub now once you click that you can click bulk crap uninstaller portable and wait for that to download now once you have to this file downloaded it's going to be a zip file so for zip files you have to extract these before actually opening them so right click on this and click extract here then once it's done all you're going to do is double click pc uninstaller.exe and wait for scan your pc for all the programs that are on there so just click continue 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 and then click finish setup and then click anywhere now all you want to care about is just selecting a program that you don't want on your computer anymore and then clicking uninstall let's just say for example i want to uninstall speci so i'm going to click on speci and i'm going to click uninstall and press continue now i'm going to press continue again and click begin uninstallation once this is done you're going to click close and then you're going to click close on this once it's done then do you want to look for leftover stuff press yes and as you can see there was absolutely nothing left over from that program you could do this for every single program that's on your computer that you do not need and if you want you could highlight multiple of these programs and click uninstall to uninstall them all in one go but other than that that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment down below if this decreased your process count and if you want more stuff like this subscribe and turn on the post notifications however if you want all this done for you and you want overclocks done on your pc 100 to 200 more fps easily in any game that you play go to the first link in the description and book an optimization service going to the best pc optimization service on the internet i'll see you guys in the next one peace out